welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at my Bible study routine. I've got my Bible here. I love it. It's super cute. It's pink. It's wonderful. Um, and I decorate it as I read through. Before I show you that, um, I created this notebook from the Arcbound system um, from Staples by taking some scrapbook paper and laminating it and then punching on the inside, I've attached this card here um, with some of my favorite Bible quotes on it. And I've washied some sticker sheets that I used to mark out my Bible on the inside cover. The first thing I have here is a um, Bible reading plan for the year. As you could probably see, I'm only halfway through the second week, but I've been really enjoying this routine. Um, I got this from Split Decisions Designs on Etsy, and I will link that down below for you guys so you could go and check it out. I created my own note pages, however, because I noticed that my needs were a bit different from the ones that come provided with that set of Bible study notes. Um, as you can see, nice and bright and colorful up here. Um, we've got my date, we've got scripture, meditation, application, um, prominent verses, and further notes. I fill this out when I've read the sections within the reading schedule, and then I clip them all together at the top with a cute little um, clip. Can't speak. Okay, I'll show you um, a plain page closer to the camera. Got a prayer list set up. I don't have, I've just started this sheet, um, so I don't have that many that I've prioritized in my daily routine, um, but I am quite proud of the setup and I've printed a lot of pages, so I'll show you a blank page. That's what I've done there. Right, now, on to my Bible, the best part. Okay, so I've already mentioned it's pink. It's a King James Version study Bible that I bought on Amazon. Um, I was thinking of getting this last time I was at Barnes and Nobles, um, but it was a bit expensive. And then I went on Amazon and it was on sale, so I snagged it straight away. Um, it's got really great notes at the bottom of each page, help, which help you understand definitions of certain awkward words, or just really understand what's going on if you're lost. So it makes it really easy to go through and understand. Um, as I read each section, I, de I decorate with some washi tape. Sorry guys, just went through a coughing fit. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, but we're back. I have got my pages decorated with washi tape, is what I was saying. Um, I use the heart stickers, oh there's a good one, I use the heart stickers to highlight those prominent verses that I really liked. Um, I use some stickers like this is the creation of woman in Genesis um, <laughs> and I thought that it would be cute to have a little female sticker there um, celebrating yay with a flower next to her and at the very top if there's a phrase or quote or theme that I think is relevant within that verse um, or scripture, I write it on washi tape at the top. Now the great thing about washi tape is that if I do accidentally cover something, which I try not to throughout my Bible, um, I can just move it without destroying everything. The pages are kind of thin, and so they do um, wrinkle the pages when I remove some washi tape, but it's not that big a deal because I figure it's just going to flatten back out when I get... Um, when I keep the book closed for a period of time. I'm just gonna try to find another section, there we go. So we've got Romans. And the aim is to decorate the whole book um, and well, read the whole book within one year. At the back, there's a concordance, um, which further defines, and dictionary and concordance, which further define and help you understand what's going on um, in your verses that you're reading. And you've got some colorful maps at the back. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys, today. 
if it inspires you, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you like any of the ideas or ha if you have any suggestions yourselves, that'd be awesome. Remember to subscribe. I've got some really fun videos coming up. And until then, see ya!